Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents Sport Card Adventures. We got a lot of stuff to do today, including opening up this nice box of Topps Heritage 2023. I just got them in. Oh yeah, I like the 1974 style. That's way back, way back. All right, when I graduated from high school, actually. <laughs> How we doing, everybody? Hope everybody's good today. We got all kinds of stuff to do. We got our box break. We got our warehouse finds, our card shop stories. But first, we're going to start with the prizes. So if you are a subscriber and you commented on the last video, you have a chance for one of these prizes. So first out of the box is going to get the super hot 1920 overtime pack, a GTS exclusive. Second out of the box is going to get the mini Rick Nash jersey card. It's not a card, it's a jersey, sorry. Uh, uh, third out of the box, we're going to get a Leaf Preferred Steel, Dominic Hasek, right there. And fourth out of the box is going to get this 2002 Pacific Bill Guerin die cut. There you go. All right, let's get our box here. we got a lot of names in there. We're going to hand mix it first. All right, this is where we get them all mixed up nice. Oh, okay. All right, now we're going to shake it. All right, we're all shook up there. All right, good luck to everybody. We're going for the overtime pack first. I'm going in. First out of the box is... Oh, Jimmy Lucari. Jimmy Lucari. He's been lucky lately. Not bad. All right, he's going to get the overtime pack. All right, now we're going to go for the Rick Nash jersey. All right. Here it comes. Kevin O'Keefe again. Jeez, this is like the third, third three out of four videos or something. I don't know. Geez, he's got a lucky streak going. All right. I think the lucky streak, uh, who's got that? Julie with five, five in a row, I think. Something like that. All right. I think Freedom Suffer is up there, too. But Kevin O'Keefe is working on it. All right. We got the Dominique Hasek. All right. Oh, I got to make sure I think I got two in my hand. Make sure there's only one. Yep, okay, here it goes. Oh, S-E-A, S-E-A. There he goes. He's going to get the Leaf Preferred Steel Dominic Hassett cord. And then we got the die cut Bill Garrett. That's when he was on the Bruins. All right. North American All-Stars. That's that card. All right, here we go. Oh, Sport Card Ripping Teacher. Sport Card Ripping Teacher is going to get the Bill Garrett. And there we go. All right. And that's our prizes for this video. We're going to have prizes we'll show you at the end for this video for the next video. And all you got to do is comment on the video, be a subscriber, and you got a chance for some nice prizes. All right. We're going to go right to warehouse finds here. Let's see here. We got a big stack. Somebody said to me, uh, I think it was last week in the comments, uh, can you show a picture of your warehouse? Well, I can't because I live in a very nice neighborhood, but we're pretty close to the highway. There is constant burglaries and car thefts in the neighborhood. Uh, yeah, because the, the city is not that far away, you know. So, uh, yeah, for security purposes, I don't show the warehouse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So... First, we're going to show some basketball. Oh, there's a little, a little bit of... We got some more of these uh, collector books. We got a Xavier McDaniel. If you, those, you guys are not familiar, these open up, and they got three or four pages in them. Nice stories in there. There we go. I sent some to the sport card ripping teacher uh, to use with his class, so I'm going to send him some more because he just won a prize. I'll send him some more. And uh, let's see, Xavier says, they have a thing on the back, 
When I'm through playing, I want to be able to say that I did a good job on and off the court. That I was a good guy to work with, a good guy to play basketball with, and a good guy to be with. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's see. We got a Mark Eaton. Oops, there's a card there. We got a Mark Eaton there. We got a, a block party. It's a hoops insert from back in 1995. Sean Kemp. He's at a block party. Like that's like a uh, psychedelic card almost. <laughs> and this just popped up. This is a 97-98. Uh, Grant Hill. Row one of the Flair. Those, these were nice cards. I like these cards. The Flair Showcase. They were really nice cards. We got some hockey. What do we got? We got a 95-96 uh, uh, Pinnacle Zenith. Brian Defoe rookie. I like those goalie cards. They're pretty cool. We got another goalie card coming up. We got a 95-96 uh, Select. Jamie Store rookie. Oh, we got a lot of these McDonald cards. I'm not sure. We got a load. So, oh, okay. So we got here's the regular. We got some regulars. We got a Pavel Bury regular. They were giving out McDonald's in Canada back in '97. Uh, we got a Mark Messier. I've got a load of these. Keith Primo. Got a Felix Potvin. Look at that one. And we got a Stevie Eisenman. So we got some pretty good names there. And then we found a load of the red parallels. These were parallel to the regular set. So we got a, we'll show you a few because of the stack. Ed Jovanovsky. See the red? On the upper deck and everything. We got a Rob Niedemeyer. Oh, let's see. Mark Retchy. Show you the bigger stuff. Oh, that's a duplicate. There's some duplicates in here. Yeah. Alexi Yashin. The Daniel Alfredison, you can see right through the card. Look at that. <laughs> Same one. We got some duplicates. Jeff Sanderson. And I'm trying to see this guy's name. Darian Hatcher. I don't remember him. Who does he play for? The stars, the stars. All right. Oh, we got some non-sport. Oh, what's this here? We got a couple of Mork and Mindy cars. Remember Mork and Mindy? What year are they from, does it say? Looks like 1978. There's a Mork and Mindy there. So, what does it say in the back? It has like a saying, Mindy, I hate to say this, but my father is conservative, set in his ways, old fashioned. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? And Mork says, Nimno? I don't know. I never watched the program, <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, here's a. Uh, she says, uh, what does he say? Mork, a blind date does not mean going out in dark glasses. I don't know. I, I never watched the program. So, oh, we got some wrestling cards. These are old ones too. Oh, what year are these? Jeez, I gotta. Now I gotta get the magnifying glass because the writing's too small. Nineteen ninety nine. It looks like so. These are twenty five years old. These are uh, some nitro cards. We got a diamond Dallas page. Well, I understand he's doing great work uh, helping people. He was a pretty entertaining wrestler, too. We got a Nitro Girl, Spice. And it's 25 years later, so I 
Guarantee you, these people don't look like they did. Storm. We got a storm. That's another Nitro Girls card. We got a Taka Machinku Oku. I find quite a few wrestling cards. Kurrigan. I don't remember a lot of these people. Silver King. Jackal. I don't remember hardly none of these. I, I, I used to be in the wrestling business, but I, after that, I really didn't watch it. <laughs> My father used to watch it. So if I, if I came over uh, and he had it on, I'd be watching it. Scorpio. He never missed his wrestling. He loved the wrestling. Wrestling and soccer. All right, we oh, and we got some baseball. Baseball's in the middle this time. We got a launched mosaic Alex Bregman card. We got one of those anniversary mojo George Brett cards. Oh, we got a blue prism Pete Alonzo. Oh, this was the ones we gave away. The National Baseball Card Day, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie Card. We got an Optic Lights Out, Mariano Rivera. Another Mariano. We got a Home Runs Allowed, oh, what's this, Tops Chrome, X's and O's, I think it is. <laughs> Mariano, it's a die cut card. Now, this is an older finest. This is a 95 finest, just regular Don Mattingly card. Right. Now, this was an insert out of Top Stadium Club. Okay. From 2019. It was a warp speed, and we got a Victor Robles. They were pretty nice cards. The warp speeds. We got a Trevor Story. Warp speed. And we got a Whit Merrifield warp, warp, warp speed. <laughs> a lot of these have the prices on them. That's how they came out of the box. That I, so I just found these. This is an 82 George Brett. I think we got a lot of George Brett we found. We got an 81 Fleer George Brett. It's a 1983 Topps George Brett. Oh, we got a bunch of Frank Thomas. Got an Upper Deck Retro Throwback Attack Frank Thomas insert. We got an Upper Deck Vintage Matinee Idol Frank Thomas. Triple Crown, Flair Triple Crown, uh, Triple Crown, Future Threats, Frank Thomas. That's from 2001. And what's this one here? This is a shiny one. This is a rare breed upper deck insert, Frank Thomas. That's a shiny. Look at that one. Quite a bit of Frank Thomas. We got. A drawing power, Frank Thomas. Upper Deck used to make some nice cards. We got an Upper Deck Big League Beat, Frank Thomas. They made it like a newspaper type of thing. Yeah, Frank Thomas, great hitter. Okay, we got some oldies. We got some 1958s from Tops. We got a Johnny Temple. From the Cincinnati Red Legs. <laughs> we got a Gus Triandos. We got a Marv Grissom. A Pedro Ramos. Felix Mantia. 
We've got a Hank Foyles. We've got a Jim Lemon. And it's funny, on the back, they say stuff about these people. Now, I, I remember Jim Lemon because his, I think his brother, Bob Lemon, was one time manager of the Yankees. Was, I was only two years old when these were made, so I wasn't watching baseball yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. President Eisenhower saw Jim Blast three homers in a, in a fifth, 1956 game. As a rookie, he polled 27 home runs and 11 triples. So he must have been fast, too, with 11 triples. 6'4", big guy back then. All right. And he was an outfielder, yep. We've got an Eddie Yost. Billy Kloss. And Carlton Wiley. And then we got some football coming up. Oh, we got some nice old football here. But first we got, this is not too old. This is an interesting card. 1990 score. Lombardi the Legend card. I, I like all those Lombardi cards. Yeah, I, I used to put them all away. <laughs> all right, this is a, a whole bunch of cards from 1977 tops. We've got a Lydell Mitchell, the Colts. Chuck Monty with the specs. Look at that. And that's with the helmet. A lot of cards I've showed you from the past with Chuck Muncy. He didn't have the helmet on. He said he's going to wear that helmet with those specs. Here he is. Yeah. We've got a Chris Barr. Jan Stenerud. He was a great kicker for the Chiefs. He was pretty good. Back in the day, he was probably one of the best, if not the best. Charlie Joyner. Oh, he was good. Yeah, that was the Chargers. Air Coriel. Oh, Mean Joe Green. There he is. Mean Joe. Yeah, Mean Joe Green. Got a Jim Langer. He was an all-pro center. Butch Johnson from the old Cowboys. Oh, Carl Eller, member of the Purple People Eaters. That was the the front four. The, the four defensive linemen back then for you younger guys was called the Purple People Eaters. They were pretty good. <laughs> Dan Pastorini, he's a pretty good quarterback for the Oilers. Got a Tom Owen, I don't remember him. He was a quarterback for the Patriots, though. Back then, if I remember right, the Patriots sort of stunk. I don't know. This is my re recollection. We got a, oh, this guy was good. Jack Youngblood from the Rams. Yeah, he was good. Oh, Bob Greasy. Look at this here. Old quarterback. He was a good quarterback. Most of these guys are pretty good. I mean, most of these guys I'm showing you are at least all-stars, most of them. Ken Anderson from the Bengals. Did a good job quarterback in the Bengals back in the day. Oh, Larry Zonka. Famous, you know, for the Dolphin fame. But, you know, he went to the Giants. He did pretty good, too. Yeah. Jack Do Dalbin. I don't remember Jack Dalbin. Yeah, for the Broncos. Wide receiver. Oh, Jim Hart. He was a quarterback for the Cardinals. He was pretty good, too. Now, what we got here? 1976 NFL interception leaders, Monty Jackson and Ken Riley. Yeah. Got a Tom Owen. Wayne Morris. And I remember this guy from the old Cowboys, Preston Pearson. Yeah, he was a pretty good running back. There you go, and that's our warehouse finds. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let me get a little drink of my coffee. I got all these pop-ups coming up. <laughs> Blocks the screen half the time. 
Oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to go right into card shop stories. So this is another uh, card shop characters. So in 99, we opened the Mars Plain store. We still had the Mars Town store for a year because I want to honor the lease. And uh, so this is uh, from Mars Plains. So I'm not going to mention any names on this because this person is still coming over. So, <laughs> so I don't want to mention any names. And he, he doesn't watch YouTube or nothing like that. So uh, this fellow's I think he's 82 or 83. I met him, uh, oh, geez, how long ago? Probably about at least 15 years ago. He walked in the store, and we started talking, and he's got, we find out, an old childhood collection. Mostly stuff from the 50s and a little bit of 60s, but mostly from the 50s. Uh, he doesn't have the mantle rookie, but he's got a lot of other stuff, you know, He's got, like, the Colfax rookie and stuff like that, you know. So, Ted Williams, a lot of really, Roberto Clemente, a lot of really nice older stuff. Uh, and, you know, he's telling me all about what he's got. And uh, he's, right away, he starts complaining. Oh, I tried to sell a few things through the auction house and this and that. And they came over my house and... The, uh, I know I got eights and nines, and they're telling me I got like threes and fours. They're crooks. Ba -ba -da -do, ba -do -ba -dee. <laughs> so I says, well, you know, at the time, uh, we were an SGC submitter uh, because they were right in town. Well, not in town, next town over. But uh, they were, oh, geez, three miles, not even three miles from the store. So, and I, I knew them all, you know. So I, I, I said, uh, well, bring it over and I'll take a look because I'm a pretty good card grader. You know, I did that for, a, a, well, I didn't do it officially. I did it in our store. And I probably have on eBay, I have probably, well, all 13,000 of our th things or whatever we got on there, probably a, at least 12,000 of them are ungraded and I grade them. I never had a problem. If you look at my feedback, there's never a problem with grading. I always grade pretty correctly. So I said, well, come on over. You know, I'll, I'll take a look at it and give you what I think. So you know, a couple weeks later, he comes in, and he's got really some nice stuff, you know. Uh, problem is, most of it is, like the auction house said, threes and fours, you know. And this guy is a very nice guy, but when it comes to his cards, he's delusional. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just a only way you can put it and he's trying he's showing me pictures images on the net you know images on ebay he's got like it printed out and uh no 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 look at this you know so i said listen i, I tell you what i'll do because uh we uh had a very good uh, relationship with sgc at the time and i says oh, i'll tell you what i, I have one of the uh Card graders, the, the one of the card graders is coming over, has been around a long time. Uh, I think he's coming to the store next week. I can have him look at him for you and give you like a pre-grade type of thing, just to let you know, you know. Because I don't want the guy to think I was BSing him, you know. So, because that's the way it seemed uh, to him, sort of. Because, you know, when it comes to his cards, boy, phew. And I, I've, I've had... Uh, instances where I'll say to a guy, eh, it's only a six, and no, it's a seven. All right, that's not too bad. It's a matter of opinion. But when you go from a three and four to no, my cards are eight and nines, that's great, a little bit crazy, you know. So I had the guy from SGC come in, and he came in, he brought his cards in, you know. And I didn't get involved, <laughs> you know, because I said right away, because he was looking to sell stuff. And I says, I cannot buy his collection. He's a very nice man. I don't want him to get mad at me. So I can't buy his collection. I mean, because I'm going to buy it at the grade it's at, you know. And uh, we wouldn't have got along, I don't think, after that. <laughs> so, so I says, if I want to remain friends with this guy, I can't buy his collection. So uh, the guy at the SGC, who was at the time at least the number two grader there, says pretty much the same thing. They're 
three fours and maybe you'll squeeze a five. That's about it out of a couple of them. But that's mainly what they are, you know, which is really nice. I mean, you get a Sandy Koufax rookie and it's a four. That's not bad. You know, it's still worth quite a bit of money. He, he didn't believe it. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Hey, he thanked, he thanked me for doing that, but he said, ah, that guy's crazy. I said, okay, whatever. So it's funny, uh, to this day, now we're talking at least, at least 15 years ago, probably more. To this day, he'll bring those cards over like once a year. He's, he, he stops by, even though I'm semi-retired, I have people that I know that can stop by. He stops by probably every three or four months, but at least once a year, he brings those cards and asks me what I think. I think he's still got them. I think he, he ended up selling a couple of them, uh, but he wasn't happy. I could tell you that much. Uh, there's an auction house that's not too far from his house, and he ended up selling some of them uh, through them eventually, and he was, oh, he was pissed off. <laughs> so, so I'm glad I didn't get involved with uh, buying his cards or, you know, that. So otherwise, he's a very nice man. So... It's tough sometimes out there, uh, you know, I, I understand people, uh, they uh, have their prized possessions and, you know, they're sometimes a little bit delusional, but what are you going to do? It's in a good way. It's not in a bad way. You just have to uh, stick by your guns and know, do what you know. That's it. <laughs> so, and that's my card shop story. It's a short one this time. All right, we're going to go right to the box because we got a lot of cards here. We got a box break here. So, so he's one of the characters <laughs> and he's a piece of work. So we got a uh, 2023 Topps Heritage and I like Topps Heritage. Uh, let's see, what are we getting this? 72 cards, not bad. I think this cost uh, $24.99 on uh, Target. Look for the real one autograph and relic cards. Look for limited and exclusive 1974 Deco Edge Minis. Oh, so they're going to have Deco Edge Minis this time. Uh, wow, there's a lot of stuff to look for. Yeah, nothing's guaranteed, but there's a lot of stuff to look for. All right. So look for real one autograph and relic cards. All right, wish me a little luck. We're going to open them up. Let's see what we got here. Uh I think I got a couple of hobby boxes coming too. The hobby boxes, I think, are about ninety bucks somewhere around there. And uh, it's funny. Uh, I bought well now. I bought a few of these on Target when they first came out at twenty four ninety nine. Then I found some on eBay for nineteen bucks a piece. So. You know, I, I'm thinking what I was saying last video, sometimes you got to wait on this stuff because they're mass producing pretty much everything. So, and you know, let's face it, with the economy, there's less of us out there collecting. I guarantee you that. And because uh, the prices aren't, you know, as good as they used to be and you can't flip stuff as good, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I, now I wait a little bit. I mean, I didn't wait on this, but I learned my lesson. You know, so, uh, but that's okay. What are you going to do? For 25, it's still not too bad. All right. Let's see what we got. So, how many packs we got? I got a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. All right, here we go. Nine cards a pack. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, these are nice. 1974. We got a Michael Kopich. Got Adolis Garcia. Got a Ryan Nelson rookie card. We got an Austin Hayes. Trace Thompson. Oh boy, I got a nice hit. Ooh. <laughs> well, it's a Yankee. That's why. That's why I like it too. All right. Oh, and you're not guaranteed. I got a clubhouse collection. Nestor Cortez jersey card. Look at that, Nestor. Uh, I can't complain. That was worth the box right there. All right. And it, this is this is one of the... 
Oh, this isn't one of the target boxes. This is another one. <laughs> All right, it's all right. We got a Rafael Ortega from the Yankees. And a Byron Buxton from the Twins. First pack. Look at that here. First pack, we got a relic. All right. Let's see what else we got here. There's only pack two. We got a Brendan Donovan. We got a Ha Sung Kim. We got a Cabrian Hayes. We got an Adley Rushman rookie. That's nice. Not bad. We got a Javier Baez. Framber Valdez. Oh, I, this is the way they did it in 74 with the multiple rookies. We got a rookie pitcher. I don't know anybody on there, but it's the uh, Phillies. There we go. We got a Raymond Laureano. And this, this set's famous for short prints, all that. And a Ryan Mc, McMahon right there. Yeah, this, this, sort, this uh, set collector's set. Because I know a bunch of guys that collect this set. And they're going to be happy when I open this box here. Because they can, if they tell me what they need, I can get it for them, maybe. Lance McCullers, Jr. We got a Danny Jansen. We got a Kyle Bradish rookie card. A Hunter Renfro. And I noticed that, and I think the... Yeah, it's weird. See how the uh, angels on the bottom, but there's no uh, city on the top. I think that's only exclusive to angel cards. We'll look. I don't know why. Andrew Benatendi. We got a Hayden Wesneski rookie. We got a new age performer, Luis Areas. We got a Letty. Traveris and a Jonathan India. Yeah, they all got the, the city on the top, but except for the Angels. I don't know why that is. <clears throat> we got a Elier Hernandez rookie. Andres Jimenez. We got a Clay Holmes. The Yankees. Got a Yerry Rodriguez rookie. Okay, we got an earned run leader. Justin Verlander, Julio Urias. Right there. Oh, that's a nice one. All-star outfielder. My two favorite teams. Ronald Lacuna Jr. and Aaron Judge. We got a Oswaldo Cabrera rookie card. A Colton Wong and a Mark Canna. And there, let's see. Well, we still got four packs left. We're only halfway through. Robbie Ray. We've got Jacob Junis. We got a strikeout leader, Derek Cole Corbin Burns. Got a Nolan Jones rookie, a Louis Varland rookie, get a lot of rookies, Jordan Diaz rookie, a Paul DeJong, Ja Wan Bay rookie card, and an all-star first baseman, Goldschmidt Guerrero Jr. Yeah. We got a Sean Murphy, Nick Solak. We got a G Man Choi, Miguel Cabrera, O'Neill Cruz, a Jerickson Profar. Oh, this is nice. We got a flashback. 74 flashback. Al K-Line reaches 3,000 hit milestone. 
We got a Garrett Mitchell rookie and a Dre Jamison rookie. Well, they give you an awful lot of cards at the night. They give you a bunch of inserts. I did get lucky and get a relic. I'm looking for a parallel. Parallels are probably like the chrome and all that. Because the stuff is mass produced and the parallels are numbered, uh, they're going to be hard to get probably. So we'll see. We got a Jameson Tals, Talon. Talon. Whatever. We got an all star shortstop, Trey Turner, Tim Anderson. We got a Corbin Carroll rookie card. That's nice. Oh, oh, I'm doing good. Oh, they got Aaron Judge specials in here. Oh, we got an Aaron Judge special. Look at that, dear. That's nice. Yeah. We got a JJ Blade rookie card. We got a Josh Rojas. Jesus Aguilar. Oh, got an Aaron Judge card. Yeah. And a RBI leader. Oh, that's nice. Aaron Judge and Pete Alonzo. That's nice. We got one pack left. Yeah, I, I think the way they did it, they numbered them to the years. But I would say, so not that many of the uh, numbered chrome cards and stuff. But, you know... I guess they might still have hot boxes, which might be nice, I hope. But I, I, like I said, I got some hobby boxes coming. We got a rookie card of Mark Vientos on our last pack. And Ezekiel Tovar rookie card. Jeter Downs rookie card. We got a Kevin Gossman. Okay, here's an angel card again. Jared Walsh with the No City. That's weird. But they're, I think, believe they're all, they're all like that. They just don't, for some reason, they don't like California. <laughs> we get a rough net odor. Rodolfo Castro. A Rich Hill. And a Heimer Candelario. All right. So I, I did all right, I think. I got a lot of nice Yankee cards. That's what counts, right? Because I like the Yankees. So, uh... Yeah, for twenty, even 25 bucks, not bad. But look out there on eBay. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. When I uh, go to buy stuff, I'm going to look on eBay first. Because, you know, I, I spent, I bought three on each medium, I think. So I, I, I spent 15 extra dollars. And for $15, I can go to Popeye. So, <laughs> you know, if I can save money, why not? So I got to look around more. And that's what I'm going to do because... They're mass producing, mass, mass producing. The shops, the stores are actually getting cases and cases and cases of this stuff. So, I mean, they don't have, I, and back in the day, well, you're talking two, three years ago, I had to go through a uh, retail wholesale distributor to get any kind of retail. They didn't give it to the hobby shops. Now, I know one guy I know, he got 11 cases of Bowman blasters. There's 40 blasters in a case. So that's crazy for a store to get that much. So they're they're mass producing a lot. So my my advice, and I'm going to take it myself, is wait a little bit, look around, and you might find stuff cheaper. <laughs> and don't pay. Well, we'll go to that later. All right, we're going to close. Oh, before we close, I want to give two big shout outs. Uh, one, Peter Card Bandit, my buddy down south. Uh, he's on my featured channels down below. Check him out. He's got a great channel. And thanks a lot for the shout-outs, P. I appreciate it. And he's a great guy. Check him out down there on my featured channels. Also, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. He just gave, he just opened a package of mine. Give me a little shout-out. Thanks a lot, Zach. But I saw a picture of you at the Brave game. Next time you go to the Braves, let me know. My nephew works there. He come down and see you. Maybe give you a little something. You never know. So, <laughs> he's let's put it this way: uh, he's in charge of the promotional warehouse while he's not doing his stadium event thing. So he's in charge of I think it's stadium logistics. So he's all around the stadium. So let me know next time you go. All right, and we're gonna close. We got our prizes for this video. So if you 
commented on this video and you're a subscriber, next video, you got a chance for these prizes. First out of the box, we got a 2021 Prism Baseball Pack. Oh, I, oh, I got some vintage coming up. Second out of the box, oh, this is a nice card. It's a 1977 3D Superstar Kellogg card of Steve Carlton, and it's in beautiful shape. And that's unusual. A lot of these cracked over time. You'd see cracks all through the picture, but this one stayed pretty nice. We got, for third out of the box, a 1977 Robin Yount. I always like that card. He's bunting. He's bunting. You don't see a lot of guys bunting nowadays, especially when you watch the Yankees. And we got a oh, the National Baseball Card Day from 2019. Pete Alonzo, rookie, who's doing real well lately. So those are our prizes for this. If you comment on this video, those are the prizes I'm giving out the next video. All right, and that's about it. All right, we're going to close. Don't forget, our eBay's up there. We got over 13,000 some items, almost 13,500, I think, maybe as of later today. And we got our COMC, where we keep adding more stuff on there. A lot of good bargains on both channels. Take, check them out. And that's about it. All right, everybody. We're going to get out of here because Lou's coming pretty soon. Oh, the FedEx man is coming up the walk. And I got to get the deliveries and start doing mail because we're constantly selling stuff on eBay and all that. All right. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget, collect what you like because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And try not to pay more than 120 for a box of cards because usually what you get out of this stuff ain't worth it. That's the way it is. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.